and and I was hoping that maybe you could you could speak into Matthew chapter seven verses twelve through twenty, where the 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 broad way leads to destruction, the narrow way leads to the Lord, and and that you know implicit faith and implicit salvation is possible, you know I suppose, but not guaranteed. You know I know that's played a huge role in your ministry. So yeah, well. You know, what I've tried to do is, if Jesus is the Lord, we need to really pay attention to what he says, you know, like if he's God, you know. Yeah, yeah. He really Fair enough. What, he really knows what he's talking about, you know. And so uh, Peter Craig, you know, the uh, Catholic philosopher at Boston College, wrote this mm. book called Jesus Shock. And he says, if you're not shocked by what Jesus says, you're not really paying attention. And I really feel like there's a lot more Catholics that should be in a state of shock about what Jesus mm. is saying, and particularly as regards salvation, particularly as regards some of the big issues in the world and church today. And, you know, if I were to describe how I think many of our fellow Catholics look at the world today, I'd describe it like this, you know, broad and wide is the way that leads to heaven. Almost everybody's going that way. Mm. Narrow is the door, difficult the road that leads to hell, and hardly anybody's going that way. Now, I honestly feel like this is where a lot of people are at, you know? And yeah. and I, it's just the opposite of what Jesus himself says, you know, in Matthew chapter 7, verses 13 to 14, it says, Jesus says, broad and wide is the way that leads to destruction. And lots of people are going that way, but narrow is the door and difficult the road that leads to life, and few there are who are finding it. So it isn't like Jesus is happy that this is the situation. It isn't like this has to be how it works. It doesn't mean that people who are currently on the broad road have to stay on the road. Mm -hmm. But that's where our urgent concern for the salvation of souls comes comes in. You know, you know, if we love our children, if we love our relatives, if we love our fellow parishioners, we're going to be concerned not just for their illnesses getting healed and for them getting good jobs and having a beautiful photographer at their wedding. We're going to be concerned for their salvation. We're going to be concerned that they die in friendship with the Lord. We're going to be concerned that they really meet the Lord and recognize that he's our only hope of salvation. Amen. 